The central government proposes amendments to the WACF Act of 1995 aiming to enhance WACF Board's management. These changes could significantly impact diverse stakeholders. The proposed amendment will revoke WACF Board's authority to declare properties as WACF, transferring this power to district collectors for a more balanced decision-making process. To foster diversity, the amendment mandates the inclusion of two Muslim women and two non-Muslim members on WACF boards, moving beyond the current all-Muslim male representation. India hosts 8.7 lakh WACF properties spanning 9.4 lakh acres, valued at 1.2 Indian rupees lakh crore, making the WACF board the country's third-largest landowner. The amendment proposes renaming the WACF Act 1995 to Integrated WACF Management, Empowerment, Efficiency, and Development Act 1995 to better reflect its comprehensive objectives. New rules mandate legal ownership and transferability for WACF creation, requiring a written deed to formalize the establishment of WACF properties. WACF Alolid rules ensure heirs' and women's inheritance rights are protected, promoting equitable property distribution among all heirs. Mandatory registration of WACF properties within six months of the amendment's enactment, along with detailed submissions, will ensure a regularly updated central database. The chief executive officer no longer needs to be Muslim, however, must be at least a joint secretary-level officer, maintaining state government appointment. Amendments ensure representation of Shia, Sunni, and other backward classes, and establish provisions for separate WACF boards for Bora and Aga Khani communities. Muslim organizations and opposition parties criticize the amendments as divisive, while the government asserts they address the needs of poor Muslim groups. Expected outcomes include better property management, increased transparency through digital registration, reduced disputes, and inclusive representation bringing fresh perspectives. To get free study material and PDF content, Join us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, and WhatsApp.